America and India have decided to collaborate intensely with a rapid speed on new generation critical and emerging technology. So this is a deep collaboration between US and India which should have immense benefits for India, for America, India. You can now renew your H1 visa within the US. You will not have to travel outside the country, spend your money, take two weeks, you know, vacation or leave from your office. The Biden-Modi bilateral, this one was more a continuation of the previous June state visit of Prime Minister Modi. Many of these things have been carried forward. For example, some of the interesting things which could be coming forth would be a human space flight program by India in collaboration with NASA. ISRO and NASA signed an MOU uh, before the Prime Minister's visit to the US in June. And now that is being taken forward. And by the end of this year, the plans would be ready. So we might, we might see an Indian in the space uh, in the first half of next year. So that's one outcome. The other outcome is that America and India have decided to collaborate intensely with a rapid speed on new generation critical and emerging technologies like AI, quantum computing, robotics, 3D, etc. Right now, China is also investing heavily in racing. America is realizing that it might lose the race with China. Not all of the race, but some of the races in new technologies America might lose. So America wants to leverage and we want to leverage America uh, with our Indian talent and investment to create the infrastructure and outcomes of research and technology products and new technologies. Because remember, the war which is already on is about technology standards. Who will control the technologies of the future? So this is a deep collaboration between US and India which should have immense benefits for India, for America, India, and will also act as a counter to China's dominance in the emerging you know, technologies, including semiconductors and chips. Another area of cooperation which is there between US, US and India is about civil nuclear energy with small reactors. Remember the US-India nuclear deal of about 15 years ago? That deal was made, but there have been some issues regarding insurance. So large nuclear reactors are becoming a problem to install in India. These small reactors are about 300 megawatt. So they're costing, you could say, about one third of a usual traditional big size reactor. So therefore, the risk associated, the financial risk of these small reactors will be less and they can put up in remote areas to generate clean, green energy. So these are a few areas uh, between US and India. Of course, a lot more uh, for uh, students uh, or even for H1 professionals, by the way, yes. The US is starting a pilot program. See, normally when you're on an H1 visa in the US, you when it expires, you have to get out of the US to get it stamped in India or outside US and then come back. Now what the U.S. is doing in response to the, because it's an expense for any H-1 holder. So what the U.S. is doing is that you can now renew your H-1 visa within the U.S. You will not have to travel outside the country, spend your money, take two weeks, you know, vacation or leave from your office uh, and go out anywhere and come back with a new visa stamp. The H-1 renewal will be stamped now within the U.S. This is a pilot project.